Alright, hey everyone. Um, just another review on. Um, just move that back a bit. Yeah, I decided to uh, go Android all the way and get rid of Windows Mobile altogether on this HD2. So, um, yeah, I'll show how it runs. It actually runs fabulous. It's very uh, responsive and it's actually got the Sense UI. Um, so, yeah, the boot up, it's going to look different so you'll see that it's booting Android from NAND Android load so um, yeah and it's actually quite fast so I've been uh, pretty excited about this one because I've been using Android for about six to eight months in total now and uh, just put up with um, it being a bit slow because it's running from the SD card but uh, I couldn't go back to Windows so um, I've been putting up with it for a while and have been putting this off for a while too so finally bit the bullet this morning and decided to uh, put NAND on and uh, work like a charm it's, it's unbelievable actually I'm just gonna let it run just to show you the boot up it's really really responsive really good um, and it's got the sense UI and everything this is actually running Desire D so the Desire Z, sorry, the Desire Z um, core, which has been ported for this HD2. Uh, I'll bring it up and I'll show you all the, the codes in a minute, but yeah, it runs fantastic. So I'll just, uh, later on, here we go. Pretty cool animation too. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it was, a, you know, it took about half an hour to an hour of reading and trying to understand all the instructions on how to do it but it was well worth it. Well, it's not as difficult as it uh, seems or when you're reading it but and it's a little bit nerve-wracking just in, you know just worried about um, locking the phone or screwing it up but uh, yeah I did it first time and it worked. Um, everything's working. There it is. Not too shabby booting up. Okay, so come in. It's just preparing the SD card, as you can see up top. That's a new uh, wallpaper I just downloaded from the HTC Hub. It'll sort that out in a second. There we go. So it's almost booted up. Everything's up. It's just going to boot up. There we go. The three G. SPA, so as you can see, um, this is actually running on NAND, it's not running on the SD card any longer, and I haven't uh, changed it that much. This is just a lot of the um, default settings, but I've actually put in all of my information. Um, but yeah, just booted up, so it's uh, again, it's loading, but once it loads it's very responsive and very fast. Uh, again I uh, first thing I did was make sure that the uh, marketplace worked so I'll go and I'll show you. Yeah, again, you know, it'll it speeds up and it becomes a lot more responsive once it's done its uh, initial boot up. So yeah, that's uh, the marketplace. Um, I'll show you some of the apps. But it's like like any phone um, or any computer. You just need uh, to give it a little bit of time once it's booted up, but once it's actually up and running, it's uh, very smooth. So uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, I haven't installed that much, but just to show you that uh, Android Market works. Yeah, see now it's uh, settled down. You'll see um, it'll these have to load at least once. So they're just your favourites. Um, Messages, see that's load up in the calendar. Again, these need to be loaded up uh, once once they've loaded up, 
uh, once they run very smoothly. It's all of the emails, the friend stream again once it's up and running, you know, in the local weather. So um, yeah, it's awesome. I'm so happy with it. It's so much more responsive. As you can see now, it's fine. It's starting to settle down. Um, I'll go into the about phone software. So again, Android 2.2.1. Um, it's the Desire DL Desire Z, as it says there, 3.4 build. Um, yeah, it's just it runs. Everything just works on here for me, and uh, it was the first. As soon as I boot up, everything just worked. So it was. Um, I was very happy. Yeah, everything's running. You can see that now that it's settled down, everything is very responsive. Um, for instance, I'll open up. Yep, yeah, what's that? You can just see again. You know, it's the new core. You can pinch. Um, double click the home button. Yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, very happy. Much more responsive. Awesome. So yeah, I was uh, just want to see let you, everybody know that it's definitely doable now, and it's very solid. Um, you can run Android with the Sense UI on NAN. Get rid of Windows Mobile altogether. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. Just wanted to show everyone. Awesome. Go for it.